Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging Diophantine equation. It is x cube plus y cube minus 4xy equal to minus 1. We have to find out integer solutions. So let's get started. By writing one algebraic manipulation I will multiply both sides with 27. Once I will multiply with 27 both sides it would be 27x cube plus 27y cube minus 4 times 27 times xy equal to minus 27. Now let's add both sides 64 also. So I will write 27x cube plus 27y cube plus 64. So I will write 4 cube minus 4 times 27 times xy equal to minus 27 plus 64. Now let us write in the appropriate order. So I will write 27 as 3 cube. So I can write 3x whole cube. Similarly 3y whole cube. Similarly 4 whole cube. a cube plus b cube plus c cube. So let us write this one 27 as 3 times. Now 9 is left, 3x, 3 is left, 3y and 4. Now you can see it is a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc and right hand side is 37. Now I will use one identity which is a cube plus b cube. Let me write here a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc it is equal to a plus b plus c in one bracket in second bracket a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc and minus ca consider this is your a this is your b this is your c then this term would be minus 3 a b c now in this place a square plus b square plus c square the last bracket here i will write in this manner also a plus b plus c now half times in bracket a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square. This identity is also very very powerful. So we will use in this problem this identity. Remember a is 3x, b is 3y, c is 4. Let's put the value and RHS is 37. So I will write 3x plus 3y plus 4 in first bracket and then I will be writing half times in bracket a minus b so 3x minus 3y whole square b minus c and c minus a so let me write in this order 3x minus 4 whole square plus 3y minus 4 whole square and then i will close our bracket rhs is 37 now let's conclude through prime factorization so I will write 37 factors as 1 times 37. It may be 37 times 1 as 37 is prime number. We can have both numbers negative also. Negative times negative is positive as right hand side is always positive. It is plus 37 right now. So minus 37 and left hand side will be minus 37 times minus 1. These four factorization we can have. Now from these four possible prime factorizations, we will reject this one. Why? If you will see only, this bracket cannot be negative. It would be always positive as we are having squares and then addition, sum of all the squares. So it cannot be negative. So because of minus 37 and because of minus 1, rejected. Only these two solutions are accepted. 
now through analytics or through mathematical logic we can conclude this solution is also not possible how it is let me explain to you let me frame first two system of equations from these two accepted solutions let me write so i will write 3x the second set plus 3y plus 4 is equal to 37 this is our second system of equation system of equation 2 and second uh, equation i will write 1 by 2 then i will write 3x minus 3y whole square plus 3x minus 4 whole square c minus a or a minus c and then i will write 3y minus 4 whole square equal to 1 so in this system of equation i will take this 2 to the right so it will become 3x minus 3y whole square plus 3x minus 4 whole square plus 3y minus 4 whole square equal to 2. Now if you will see the very first bracket I will take 3 common out then it will be 9 and whole square cannot be negative. So this would be always greater than 3. So how it is possible that RHS is 2 less than 3. So on this ground we will reject this system of equation for real solutions. It, it is always positive. This third is always positive. So LHS is having minimum value 3 and RHS is having value 2. So this cannot be accepted. Now which system is accepted? Let me write and let us solve. The very first only where 3x plus 3y plus 4 equal to 1. 3x plus 3y plus 4 equal to 1. This is our system of equation 1 from prime factorization. First equation. Now second equation is half times in bracket. I will write 3x minus 3y whole square plus 3y minus 4 whole square plus 3x minus 4 whole square and equal to 37. Now let's multiply second equation with 2. So I will be writing 3x minus 3y whole square plus 3y minus 4 whole square and so on. But before that I will consider first equation. See how it is 3x plus 3y equal to minus 3. Divide this equation with 3. x plus y equal to minus 1. So from here we can write y value will be minus x minus 1. So I will put this value in second equation of this system and take this 2 to the right hand side. So I will write 3x, let me write once, 3x minus 3y whole square plus 3y minus 4 whole square plus 3x minus 4 whole square equal to 74. 37 times 2, 74. Now I will put this value y is equal to minus x minus 1 in this equation. So let's put over there. So it will become, let me take 3 out. So it will be 9. So I will write 9 in bracket x plus x plus 1 whole square plus let's put the value then it will be 3x minus 4 whole square this bracket plus 3y minus 4 whole square this bracket I am writing here this value will be 3x plus 7 whole square and this side is 74 now only need to expand we will get our answer so let me write the compact form 2x plus 1 whole square plus 3x minus 4 whole square plus 3x plus 7 whole square equal to 74. Let's expand a plus b whole square formula. So I will be writing 9 times 4x square plus 4x plus 1. 
second bracket i will be writing 9x square minus 24x plus 16 third bracket 9x square plus 42x plus 49 equal to 74 once you will expand and simply cancel the terms you you will get i will write 36 whole 36 x square plus 36 x plus 9 plus 18 x square plus 18 x plus 65 equal to 74 so after simplifying it 54 x square plus 54 x will be the final simplification equal to 0 now take 54 x common so i will write x plus 1 equal to 0 so two solutions are there from first one x is equal to 0 from this equation x plus 1 will be equal to 0 so final solution for the value of x so x we can write either 0 and from here it is minus 1 so 0 or minus 1 now remember y was minus x minus 1 so let me write here y value also so once you will apply 0 here so 0 minus 1 so minus 1 so here i will write minus 1 and once you are putting minus 1 over there then you will be having 0 so if i will write ordered pairs x comma y then it would be i will write 0 comma minus 1 and minus 1 comma 0 i hope this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck friends bye bye